is for my the hood arrived for my uh, 2013 CTS coupe. My coupe is the base. Um, and in a few weeks, I've been waiting for this to arrive and I finally made it. The shipping company actually just dropped it off. I didn't even know it was out here. They were supposed to uh, get my uh, approval to make sure it's not cracked or broke, damaged in shipping. So I really got to check this out and let make, make sure that it's okay. And if everything goes looks good, then I'll get her off to the paint shop. And then you guys may to see me get this thing installed. All right, so I just got the text from the shop letting me know that the hood for the CTS is ready. And what I was going to do, I was actually going to drive it without the hood on it up to the shop and pick it up and just put it on there. But I don't, definitely want to do the video for you guys of me mounting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop, uh, throw some padding in the back of the truck over here. And then I'm going to drive out there, pick it up, and then we'll uh, get it mounted on and uh, you guys can see how it looks. All right, just picked it up from the paint shop, got it in the back of the truck and about to drive home. All right, now that I have the four bolts in, or the four nuts in, uh, what I need to do is I transfer it from the old hood. This is the little nub for the uh, strut support that's in the hood. So I'm gonna put this in now. Just a 10 millimeter. This is just fiberglass here, so don't try to crank it down. They insert the bolt, the nut side into the fiberglass. So this is a metal, so if you start trying to crank down on it, it's not gonna go pretty for you. So now I can take the strut, get that out of the way.
Bring that down. Lock it in. And now it should be able to hold up on his arm. I'll get these rags out of the way. And now I wanna lower it down gently to make sure everything lines up to where it needs to be at. So now I'm going to attempt to close it. And you want to keep that uh, eye on these edges because if they're too far back, they will scratch your paint or even crack it. So you want to make sure there's no binding in these corners when you're letting it down. All right. All right, so the trim piece I took off from the original hood. I had pre-painted it, you know, when it was on there. So I'm just gonna put this on here and they just have these tabs in the back. They're just really like compression tabs. When you need to remove it, you just really just apply pressure. Now this is plastic behind here, so you have to play straight, uh, even pressure, and they'll just pop out from there. And then when to put it in, you just snap it back in. Trim piece now is on. <clears throat> All right, so now I'll give you my review of this hood on my 2013 CTS Coupe. Um, it is phenomenal, for one, to say. What I love about it is that uh, it does have the heat extraction, but it's near the rear. Uh, you don't just have a big open cavity down here, so this is really two layers. You got your outer layer and the layer underneath, and it closes it completely off. So when rain comes through the vents up top they kind of just hit the inside of here and come down and then just exit out through here so the rainwater will get dumped out through here rather than all over your engine that's what i love about it while at the same time in the rear you have for your heat extraction so quality wise this is just awesome no need for he uh, hood pins that's what i love about it too because he did a great job with the latch uh, catch over here as well. So everything is in great condition. I'm gonna have to dust it off. It's a little dusty from the shop underneath, but I'll buff it off and everything. And now I'll close the hood and let you have a look at how it looks from the top. Close that down. There's your vents. Some dirt off of there. See how it looks that way. Beautiful. And I'm sure you guys saw where I pushed down on the hood. <clears throat> like those cheap Duraflex hoods. Never buy one of those, by the way. What happens is, is when you push down on theirs, this is all flex. You risk in cracking. This is solid. It didn't flex or anything. That's how well made they did. 
uh, was it took, what, about two months for this to be manufactured, but it was definitely well worth the wait. So this is how, this is the hood uh, review installation of my, of the hood on my 2013 uh, CTS Coupe. If you like, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because there's some other uh, modifications I'm doing to this one coming up. You may have noticed that the holes right here from when I added the bumper, these are for the sprayers. Uh, I don't have that feature for the sprayers, but the holes are there just the same. I ordered out the, um, the, the sprayer covers, so they will be going on there too as well. Uh, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you can just uh, follow along as I do my other modification. I have one coming up for the rear bumper where I'm going to be converting it uh, to the CTSV bump. I'm not changing out the bumper. I'm doing a modification to make it uh, look like the CTSV bu uh, bumper, rear bumper because they really are essentially the same. They at the factory use the exact same one. There's no special mold for the CTSV bumper. Uh, they just cut out a section and throw a trim piece on it. Uh, that's all I'm going to be doing too and you guys can watch, catch that video. So thanks for joining guys. Hit that subscribe button.